Hey guys and welcome back to Keller's Aquatics. We're going to have Friday Fry Lights on Sunday night uh, because I uh, have not got to film them yet. So, start off here with the Santa Maria Endlers uh, that I got from Dan's Fish. And these guys, once they got going, are just really going like gangbusters. Um, I would guess I have 100, 125, I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to feed them some a mixture of half uh, Cyclops and half um, frozen baby brine shrimp uh, just to see if we can get them to come on up here and gather up. Of course the adults are perfectly capable of eating that uh, and do as well. So I will, started to say I'll come back to them in a second, but uh, I don't think there's any reason to leave. They're, they're gathering up, and you can see there are some that are, oh, I noticed them yesterday, the tiniest. There are probably 20 or 30 of those. Uh, they really like to stay back in the back there. Um, this is in a window, and of course that's part of why there's so much algae. Uh, but they like to stay down by that window a lot uh, during the day. Uh, they're just really, really healthy, gorgeous fish. And I will probably move a couple of uh, the best young adults out of here. There are some that... I'm sure, Dan, that's an awesome, awesome, awesome male there. And it may be from the second group that Dan uh, sent. Uh, but lots of the little males are starting to color up. It's a little early to start. Uh, there's one that's very nice, going to be very nice. It continues. Uh, there he is. There he is. You got that guy. That's... That's what we're looking for. And there are several like that. Um, there's one that's a little older that may not make the cut, but we'll see. I'm going to let them continue to uh, breed in here just to get the colony going before I do any calling. Um, so it's all comers, but you know, these were the best of the best, the creme de la creme. Um, so they may throw a little bit of non-perfection, but uh, it's just a little bit I'm seeing. There's another really, really nice male, a baby, there. So, I'm really excited about those, and, and I hope to get a second colony going, and at that point I'll consider uh, selling some of them to get them on out in the hobby. Just move over one tank coming right on down the row, and you can see there are lots and lots and lots of adults in here. Uh, these continue to spawn uh, like nothing I've ever seen um, and they were uh, mistakes as I've said many times and what they are is a female um, IFGA um, American Green Delta Tail was the mother the dad uh, was a rounded tail uh, magenta and somebody online has some of those right now it may be Jesse uh, at HC Aqua someone has some that look just like the dad but it did not come from there uh, most of these are delta tails there are a very few uh, that are having the there's one that are having the rounded tail um, but yeah, you can see they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've yet to name them, and that's one of the holdups for getting them posted on Get Gills. I want them to be 
uh, pink somethings. <laughs> Uh, and also my local fish store has set up a special tank for them and wants me to bring in some pears um, to see how they do. Uh, if they do well there, I may, you know, have something with them where I primarily just uh, release them through the local fish store. They're awful, awful good to me, but I'm throwing in some more of the baby brine shrimp and Cyclops mix to, to get some of those babies. This tank has just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fry and I have not called any out. Uh, we're on probably fourth generation in there, at least fourth. Uh, just a very, very, very hardy fish. Females are pretty large, but you know, think about American greens. Those females are big. So, those guys are doing absolutely awesome and look awesome. Come on guys and help me uh, come up with a great name for these guys. Something pinks. And again, I've just moved over one more tank and uh, you can see those guys are like, no wait, we still want some more food. They had already eaten before I gave them that little bit to pull them up and this is the tank that I usually get a couple comments about the snails and I do feed five every morning and five every evening out of here to Dharma the Pahaka so uh, the numbers are starting to come down and I have snail cultures in several other tanks uh, right now that's pretty much all she'll eat uh, but yeah these guys are um, the Luke Roebuck uh, Roebuck I always say Roebuck. Um, Hawaiian Blue. And they are considered by a lot of people. There's a nice mature male. There are lots of uh, immatures. There are some that still have their juvenile colorations, but there are many males if I look at the tail on this guy here but um yeah they are really really doing great uh, I do only have this uh, coal tank and then as I have specimens that are the creme de la creme I pull those out uh, for their 30 gallon 20 29 gallon tank and as I've mentioned before, I do have some uh, other fish in here, uh, such as uh, Super Red Long Fins. Those are from Craig at uh, Small Fry Aquatics. Uh, there are three in there, and they have not uh, spawned, uh, but hopefully they will, and we'll be doing updates on those fry. Uh, and I also have some long fin um, meteor minnows somewhere in there and a bazillion snails. There's a uh, one male in here, there it is, that I'm not sure what's going to happen with that guy. I'm not sure if it jumped from the other tank, but I'm thinking about pulling him out. He's obviously maturing there sexually. Uh, the color is completely different if he is from the other tank. Alright. Okay, I started to say last but not least that I've got uh, some other fry I'm going to introduce uh, to the um, Friday Fry Lab series. Um, but first, these guys, you'll recognize them, of course, as the Loop Roebuck. Um, reds, delta reds, and they are doing amazing, just incredible. I do still have a couple of um, those um, uh, Golden Wonder uh, killifish in here uh, that were laid by killifish when uh, I was cycling this tank to keep it ready. Uh, sorry for these guys. 
waiting for them to be shipped. So, and they have just done incredibly well. Uh, these came from Doug Gray, and uh, I think I've had three drops now. So, uh, but I don't think those were all from the same. Uh, or from the three different females. There are three females originally and um, two males. And right there we're seeing one of the one of the golden wonders. Two of them actually. Um, but yeah these guys are just doing incredible and as I've said before I love the blues but that I know uh, for a fact that Doug uh, Gray by the way, Doug is a breeder of some renown himself, IFGA, Guppy breeder, among other fish. Um, he literally spent 10 years uh, bringing these fish back. Look at that nail in the center. Their red doesn't go all the way to the face, and he hasn't been able to breed that out, or that is the original. Uh, but they get red fast. Um, I think if I could only have one strain, I would take the reds because I know that they are perfect, that they are exactly what uh, Judge Roebuck uh, intended them to be and the way he showed them. And these are the fish that he won uh, many and much recognition with. So, yeah, the reds are hands down superior quality fish. However, the blues have their genes. Um, I just have not had time to, 10 years, I've only had them less than a year, so I haven't been able to do a whole lot with them yet, but all in due time. Okay, and now those that stay to the last. forget to uh, show this little guy. This is the lined um, puffer, L-I-N-D-D, -D, and named Linus, uh, and I think that name came from Rill's Tanks. Uh, anyway, he's about doubled in size, but he's still, um, I can find my thumb. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's about the size of my thumb. But I forget to show him in the updates each week. Uh, I had him in here uh, in quarantine for quite a while uh, due to him having some ick. Uh, and that's cleared up nicely. He's already been fed too, but he never, ever, ever gets full. So I'll just feed him. This is already a long video doesn't see the food. He's also got a couple of fish in there. He goes a couple fish in there with him. Well, that's the little blue damsel that I rescued from local fish store. Some other fish had pulled its fins off. So I just threw it in here for company and its fins are grown back. Gorgeous. And then there's a little wrasse in here that was also in the tank that had uh, uh, ick. So, but these guys have been cleared up for a couple of weeks. I'm uh, just trying to decide whether to put them in the 40 breeder or uh, into the the big new tank. Uh, I've already got four puffers in there now, so all right. So yeah, that's Linus, and you can see the stripes. Some people call them striped puffers or line puffers. It's a dog face too, by the way. It's just a very color variation, basically. So. Alright, and then finally, at 12 minutes, 14 minutes, well, if you're still with me, God bless you, <laughs> you will notice in here, a bit of focus, have some fish that will look very familiar to a lot of you, and they're in the front, uh, kind of grouped together there, and those are Daisy's rice fish. And those are from Pam, and they're adolescents. They're not quite old enough to breed yet, um, but I'm very optimistic, and they've already learned that I'm the food source in the two days they've been here. The other little fish, uh, by the way, there are blue wonder shrimp in there, 
and there are also uh, the striped yellow bag or yellow stripe or whatever. There's maybe 10, 15 of each of those. And that big uh, hole there, that crater is where I was filling the tank a little bit earlier. Everybody had a water change, all the fresh water did. And then finally, those little guppies that you see swimming around are from Bam Aquatics and they're uh, as the shrimp are as well and there are several of those guys in there most up at the top uh, wanting to be fed there they go uh, and those are the uh, American greens and Rick sent me some of those uh, I did pay for him he did not did for them he did not want to pay but it's not working right now, so that worked out great for both of us. Um, so I had actually lost this line. I've gotten down to two males. They're very slow breeders, and they have small, um, small drops. So knowing that now, I'll approach these a little differently. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and feed these guys since since they're begging for food and I'm just rambling per usual so you can see how small they are there that's just some uh, frozen prime with spirulina ice fish are learning about it they've probably been eating micro worms most of the time, I need to drop a couple snails in there. I see one back there. I need to drop a couple in there. Let me go ahead and put a little. I doubt that anybody's even listening to this at this point, so I just just throw them away. So there's a little bit of my frozen mix. So those guppies should go right after that. The shrimp will love that too, I'm sure. And, yeah, there come the daisies rice fish. Love those daisies rice fish. So they, they are technically fried too, or juveniles. So. Alright, that's all of the fry guys. Everybody's uh, doing well. Uh, I do still have the giant carbanzas. Uh, what's over here? It's so just a little breeding project. These are not, uh, I don't do blowfish, and these are not blowfish. These are blue long fin danios. Uh, um, hopefully, they're going to breed. We'll have fry from them. So, spook them. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If anybody's still watching this, it's 18 minutes. And uh, if nothing else, something great to fall asleep with maybe. Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching.